Hey guys, Sausage here and welcome to another meaty sneak peek. Today's game we'll be looking at a little thing called Necro. It's on Steam, um, early access, it's in beta so there may or may not be bugs. Um, I have seen about an hour or so played of this game and I fell in love with it and I thought I instantly had to get it. It looks like one of these games that's definitely something that I would thoroughly enjoy. So if you're a fan of Torchlight or Diablo-esque games, this game will definitely be for you. So let's go in. New game. Fourteenth day of Jinda, of the year 499 in the Common Reckoning. I begin my journal. My trial is over. The sentence has come down and my execution is imminent. But what kills you only makes you stronger. Sure. Abandoned by my god, Gatheros. I must accept he is dead. Mm-hmm. And go now into the service of another. A sinister god. Great evil. <laughs> no matter now. I only seek revenge. Hmm. Clear. Take me into your fold. My soul is yours to damn. Okay. Dude hated his Welcome old god. Oh. To Necro. These next few screens will allow you to upgrade your necromancer and summons. On this screen, you can pick which necro specialization you wish to use. Your choice will last for the duration of this campaign, so choose wisely. Oh my. <laughs> so, we have the alchemist who looks pretty badass. Uh, the alchemist, the healing necro with this power lacks in damage it makes up for with healing abilities and summon it summon sustainability okay attack range high base health low base armor very low cast range medium main attack fires a beam of blood energy dealing damage to enemies alternate attack throws a vial of blood energy creating a healing portal with a small radius all of the necro summons inside the portal will be healed constantly a uh, combo attack firing the beam into the Healing Vials Portal will extend the range of the beam and deal more damage. And dashing teleports the Necro. Sweet. So, you're good. Grim Keeper. The Grim Keeper. The Grenadier Necro. This power trades mobility and range for high damage grenades and combos. So, attack range is medium, health is medium, armor is medium, cast is low. Throws Skull Grenades. Um, alternate attack swings the Grim Keeper's skull sack, knocking uh, back enemies. So we'll swing that, and I guess he bashes them miles away. Combo attack: hitting a skull grenade with the sack will supercharge the skull, sending it flying and dealing double crit damage on impact. Ouch! That sounds painful. Special ability: dealing damage to an enemy using the skull sack will allow attack will allow the next attack to be performed at twice the speed. Sweet. Next. Outcast. The Outcast, the Brawler Necro. This power excels in high damage, melee attacks, and hard hitting combos, but lacks attack range. Well, of course, you're melee, aren't you? Attack range is very low, health is high, armor is high, cast is very low. Main attack, three powerful melees. Alternate attack, fires a hook that grabs enemies and pulls them in. Combo attack, chaining three main attacks will deal lifesteal. And AoE damage. Okay. Dashing, perform a knockback spin attack. Damage dealt by the Necro and his summons will temporarily increase the Necro's attack damage and armor. Use this to snowball damage and take hits. Oh my god, he looks so cool. I don't know, it's either him or the great Grenada. These two are obviously coming soon because this is beta. Beta, so uh Do I go for this guy? Yeah, we'll go with it. We'll try the Grim Keeper, see what happens. This is your summon screen. Here you can unlock new summons or upgrade your current ones. Go ahead and assign an upgrade to your Scourge summon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> look at them. Beautiful. Right, uh, we need a up an update. So what does this do? Uh, scourge, scourge reloads at a faster rate, faster reload, increases scourge damage, I 
and increases maximum scourge. Let's go for damage. Why not? In this final screen, you can review your equipped power set, trinkets, and summons, as well as read the briefing for the level you are about to enter. Cool. Make sure you've spent all your powers and sins, so you're as strong as possible. When you're ready, hit the start button to begin. Thank you. Okay. So we've got a, we've, we're in Farming Shire Farms. We get five sins as a reward. Uh, I've got no trinkets, obviously, because we've just started. So that's the guy we're going to be. We're going to have those weird worm guys, I guess, as a summon. Uh, this is the King's Farmland. It was once a beautiful and bountiful region where hearty folk grew hearty food, making an honest living from the land. The King has seized the entire lot. He claims the land as his own and forces the farms to produce food for his soldiers exclusively. Farmshire Farms is one of the biggest tracts of land. Its destruction will deal a serious blow to the King's Royal Army. Cool! The, pre the, the peasants here are in direct allegiance to the King. There is no swaying them. Oh, what a shame. Release them from his service in any way you see fit. It is the only way you see fit. Bombing the shit out of everything! Oh, look at me! Your foes bow to your will and crush them with your unholy might. Move around with the movement keys. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, I do move fairly slow, don't I? Jesus. Target an enemy by hovering over them with your mouth. Use your main attack or scourge to deal damage. Is that gonna explode? Yeah! Ouch, that looks painful. Oh. Okay, those of you who hate gory games might not like this. Die, melons! <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Having the right perspective on battle is crucial. Ah. The camera with the keyboard, the middle mouse button, or by touching the edge of the screen with your cursor. Nomage! Come here! Nom! What's this then? Um, so I can do that to turn the camera. It's fantastic. Mine! <laughs> to avoid damage. Space key. Okay. Ow! Piss off! Thank you. So, uh, did they say that I can do... Ah! He throws them behind him? Badass! Blow shit up! Get it! Uh, yep. oh. Munch him! Munch him! <laughs> oh my god, I love this game! Hang on, can I throw one on the floor and then... <laughs> oh, I love it! <clears throat> Bowling! I can't take this. Dumbass! Enemies killed with your main attack will create a corpse. Stand near a corpse and consume it to heal injury and grant blood. Blow that mushroom to bits. Die! So yeah, Steam Early Access, guys. Feel free to go get it while it's on offer. If you're loving this so far. Oh my god, I'm enjoying this. Eh! Ha ha! Oh, can I blow the well up? No? Okay. Dashing. Dashing's fast. Your two main attacks can be combined for greater effect. Try throwing a skull on the ground and hitting it with your skull bag for a power shot. Okay. Done that. Push! Push! 
Oh, it's really hard to aim with that though. So I've got aim there. Later, bitch! Ah! Just die already! Yum. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Oop, turn the camera. Woo! Bye, chickens! Chickens! Welcome to hell! Eh! Mine! <laughs> uh, let's try the scourge. Scourge this guy. Using Ooh. your scourge attack is very powerful. Is it? It deals critical damage. Enemies killed with a critical damage attack do not turn into a corpse. So use them carefully. Alright. Oh! Piss off. Mine! Die, piggy! Uh, ow. Oh, I think I made the right choice here. This guy is awesome. Die! Yep, I killed your ass. Don't forget to use your scourge for maximum damage. Ah, I won. Oh. This guy is just getting kited like a crazy. Go away. Oh! A death cat mushroom. That looks useful. Give me that. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this a little too much. Come on, walk over the mines. Brat. I am the Grim Keeper. Come to me, piggy. Ah! Oh, missed. <laughs> ah, missed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just noticed I'm a little dude down there as well. That's cool. So I take it all the little red things on the map are the these guys? Yes, they are. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What's that? That was inside. So don't worry about that. Wow, if I time that right, he won't hit me. Oh, bullseye! Oh, what was that? Oh, that was a sim? Cool. Munch. Munch. Okay, let's try this. Let's go for a, a, a tension bowling style thing. Bing! Oh, miss. Never mind. Bye! I am the Grim Keeper. I am here for your soul, boy. Is that it? I say it is. Victory! Oh my god, I love this game! Chickens fried, seven. I got that as a trinket that looks oddly suggestive. <laughs> wow. Fifth of Authors, 499, oh. entry two. The melodies of activity and vitality wafted forth from miles before me. In my youth, I enjoyed such things. Taste of spring, feel of the air on my body, but but most especially the sight of youthful rapscallions in their festively tight pantaloons. Ooh. <laughs> now that I no longer have such earthly concerns, my task at hand is in clear focus before me. With great ardor and zeal, I must expunge these newly offensive sensations. Expunge? I am become deaf. Destroyer of worlds, ender of all things, but especially those things right over there. Specifically those things right over there. <laughs> this is the Necro screen. Yes. Here you can upgrade your Necro and equip trinkets. Equipped trinkets 
can be used once per map, but recipes persist between levels. While in a level, use the trinket key to activate your currently selected trinket. Thank you, master. I want this. What does it do? Death Cat Mushroom, Lord of the Fungus. The Death Cat Mushroom injects a crippling poison into its victim, completely immobilizes the target, and deals damage for a short while. That could be useful. Upgrade health, upgrade damage, or upgrade blood. Ooh. What do I do? I want to go for damage. Should I go for damage? Go for damage. You can Ooh. now unlock a new summon. Can I? Choose between one of the highlighted summon icons. All unlocks are mutually exclusive and permanent, so ensure your choice is final before making the selection. I will, my lord, clear. Right, what have we got? We have a bat thing. Uh, summons killer monster bats that deal swift, low damage strikes. This summon performs poorly alone, but excels in large groups. Casting it, this unit on a corpse will spawn an extra horror. <laughs> Creates an immobile ranged plant turret at the target's location. Cast on a corpse to increase dark seeds health. So I can have a plant turret that can't move or a bat that follows me. I'll go for turrets. Let's go, let's go full on bombs here. Do I have enough sins? Yes, I do. And there we go. That's ew, that thing looks nasty. How many for that? No, that needs sins. How many sins do I have? I have one sin. How much is that? Three. Three. Next. Let's see. The mining town of Whizwag. Sins five. Many years ago, this mining town was a free held co-op run by the People's Society for the Reliable Union of Mother Nature and all her bountiful blessings. The king seized it and kicked the rock huggers out. The king's claim was obstinately that, that word, is an unpronounceable acronym, but it was clear, clearly to serve his war efforts. Destruction of the town will halt the supply of metal and the king, sorry, to the king, and further slow his war. Let's bomb the shit out of it! Hey, oh, corpses, nom! Lunch time! Your trinket is ready to be used. Thank you. What's this? Summons are the linchpin of your power. Summon minions to help you attack in battle. Use corpses to spawn more powerful versions of a minion. Hover over a corpse and press two. There's my turret! Hello. Bring him over then. Hello! Kill it, turret! <laughs> Die, bitch! Give me that. Now let's do the 10 pin bowling. Four! Oh, yes. Sarsaparilla? You ain't gonna need no sarsaparilla where at you're going. To hell! <laughs> I think I'm enjoying it a little too much. Towns are very dangerous. Okay. You should remain on the outskirts of cities and villages, spawning your army and gathering some. Spawning armies. Okay. I can't really spawn an army that stays. What's that? It's a pumpkin! Some objects in the world can be turned into summons. Imbue this Jackie O with one of your scourge to bring it to life. Jackie O, I summon thee! <laughs> Follow me, O oh Jackie O Lantern. <laughs> Take these. They don't move. It's the only problem with those plants. They won't move. Oh, hello. Another one. Your minions will target threats on their own. However, by using the command summon key, you can shift their focus to another target. Or tell them to retreat if all else fails. Just, just... Go! 
go! Give me that. Okay, come on. Won't need to die, mister. That'll do. Nah. This could be dangerous. I'm glad I have a turret. Ah. Give me F that corpse. Eh. Yeah. Come to Papa. Okay. Well, if I put that there and then push, bring them across. <laughs> Oh, what was that? I got a blood gem. Swish! Blood gems. Useful for everything, kiddos! Die, chicken! Die, chicken! <laughs> uh. Hey! Skull for you! Piggy! Oh! I have a bone to pick with you about that! <laughs> Mine! Victory! That was fun. M milk spilt. Milk! So those are the two trinkets I got. That's awesome. 19th of Mary, 499, oh. entry 3. In his magnum opus, Life, the philosopher Baron Bodicey once famously asked, What is life? How does it differ from death? The question itself is non cubatory hmm? Life is, as I am alive, I am not dead. Therefore, life and death's fundamental difference is in apotheic. Meaning? I must disagree, as I am no longer alive, yet the throes of death have yet to take me. Maybe I'll raise the good Bodicey and see how he feels on the subject now. I'd venture his views have been somewhat altered. I would too. <laughs> More stuff! Uh, I don't know. I don't seem to be doing too bad on health or blood, so more... Do that. That'll do. So I never really used that before, so let's put that there and put that there, I guess. Next! Oh, another summons. That's what we got here. Summons a flying acid demon that can be lobbed at a target area, slowing all nearby enemies. The airborne, the airbane costs no blood to use, but instead it's summoned by causing damage. <sighs> so that could hurt me by doing that, okay. Summons a massive immobile feeding mouth to consume the target. Every three seconds, meat mouth will automatically perform a chomp attack. Limited spawn, costs four blood. Eh, we'll go for the airbane, I guess. Or do I want to upgrade this? I've got seven, so I could do more for this. Well, what have we got here? Starving Roots. Reduces the blood cost to spawn Dark Seed. Uh, allows for an additional Dark Seed to be summoned. Increases attack range. What have we got here? Recharge rate and increases Scourge. I'm not really using the Scourge much, but I probably will need to, considering these are turrets. Uh, so let's damage the turrets. Does this increase the attack range? That requires five sins. I have that. Go! You can attack further. So there we go. All of my things. Right, so there you go, guys. This was the meaty sneak peek for Necro. If you guys love this game, it is on early access, even though you can't probably really tell, except for obviously all the coming soon things. Go ahead and pick it up. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this game. If you guys do want to see me do a series on this, comment section below. I'm more than happy to do that. However, I'll most likely start from scratch and probably pick the other guy. I don't know. But we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully you've liked this episode. Um, I'm going to continue with the meat sneak peeks. Next one should be Bastion. Okay, guys. I'll catch you all next time for more on the Meatball and Sausage channel. Take care and goodbye.